Alright, now we're moving on to the, I'd say the hardest part. It is timing the pull, or otherwise known as the hand spring, and, or the hand and spring. Now, most people replace these for one of two reasons. It's either too short, resulting in the cylinder not, com not coming up in time, it's, uh, or it breaks. Now, on these Colt cap and balls, that is usually the first part to break real quick. Um, cause actually, this will be our part one. Alright, so, I fixed my goof up, I got my barrel. So we're going to put the wedge in, because we want to simulate the real stresses and pressures that the gun will go over. Uh, yeah, again, I'm not using the grips, because what, what do the grips really do? They make it comfortable to hold. So, of course, we always put it on half cock. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm kind of a scaredy cat of me peening some random part of the cylinder and it not looking good. So I'm just going to put some tape over it and hopefully that can act as a cushion. So we want it hitting these little, let me move my shadow, these little ramps right before the notch. We want it hitting right on there because that's, the bolt is shaped like that, it's not perfectly square. So. Well, let me get some tape on there. I don't know if this will actually do any good. It's just my paranoid thought process reasoning. And then we can also tell where if it's scraping anywhere when it's coming. So that's another important key factor. You don't want it scraping right after. Uh, so let me go over timing while I'm doing this. Timing, yeah, you want it to hit that ramp, but you also don't want the hand to start pushing the bolt right right when you're moving it to half cock. You actually want it to be run a free of the hand, because you want to give the bolt a chance to get out of that notch before you start trying to torque on it. One, you can really ruin your bolt, but two, you'll ruin your hand as well. And you'll ruin your cylinder notches that we're trying so desperately hard to protect. So... Okay, so we've got our sections taped off half-assed, but they're taped off nonetheless. So, gun's on half cock. Never pull the trigger. You'll shorten it and ruin your uh, timing. <laughs> so, got our barrel. So, all right. <sighs> this is a lot harder without this grip. All right, we've got our grips. So we've got our barrel, and then we've got our cylinder arbor. Yeah, another common problem with Pietas and Ubertis alike. I don't, or I've heard about Ubertis. The arbors aren't fit where they like they used to. You used to be able to, or in the old days and old models, you could just use finger pressure, and this spring on the side would catch it. So you're at half cock. Let's see what happens. Oh, something's happening. So it's actually overturning it. So that means, if you didn't guess it already, yeah, and it's hitting that, ah, uh, yeah. So, what have we learned? Hmm, why is it? Ah, oh, that's weird. So yeah, we're learning one of two things. The bolt's coming up way too early, which means the hand's too long. It's not to keep the bolt, the hand keeps wanting to push it back, so that means, what? It's way too long. So, what do we do? Well, great question, we're going to shorten this, the hand. <laughs> Make love to you. Nobody but you. You know I would buy you a diamond ring. Buy you most anything. I love you. No one above you. Come on, honey. Let me love you. Said yeah. She said yeah. Said yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. I want to make love to you.
make love to you Nobody but you I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get the old handspring. Cameraman out of memory. Had to delete some <laughs> really superfluous stuff. So we're gonna be quick about this. We're gonna get the hammer in there. Okay. So yeah, I probably won't run through me fitting the entire thing. That'd be a really long time. It'd take about an hour or so. So I'm probably gonna stop once we see. If the timing works now, that, that'd be great. But time-wise, we don't have a lot. So as far as camera goes, we got a lot of personal time. Which I might finish this tomorrow if it feels right. I'm gonna drop the bolt in. Come on, bolt. There we go. Put it on the half cock area ish. Another word I don't like to use a lot, but kind of have to here. But I'm just picky like that, you know. Science major, snob. That's why uh, a lot of people don't like me. Or I wouldn't say don't like me. Don't like how I act as far as science goes. As far as exactness. Okay. Do you want to shoot a gun that sh shoots almost perfect? Or do you want to shoot a gun that sort of shoots in general? Mom, what? Can you push up my hot tub for me? Uh, yeah. Okay, so right off the bat I can say mission accomplished on bolt clearing that window. Now we can see I'm not having a lot of resistance. I don't have to fight it going up. I think that was a lot of the problem initially. I mean, of course, the <laughs> the uh, the hand was way too long, no doubt about it. But we lose again some of that roughness, and we get what we're looking for in the long run—a smooth action that is consistent. There we go. Go ahead and put that wedge in. Probably don't need it. Who knows? Maybe it has some weird effect on it. So again, this feels kind of rough. It's probably because it's a new cylinder, and it's a new hand, a new everything. So, see? Hmm. Okay, this tells me one thing. Um, so what's happening is we got half cock, and we got we've got no full cock. So what can this mean? This means that the cylinder is locked into place. So the bolt, as far as we know, the as it's riding off the cam on the hammer, that's fine. Now what we know is this this hand is still too long. The reason I know this is we've got the ratchets right there. So when we pull this back, this ha the ha the uh, trigger has to reach a certain mark before it hits the full cock sear. So that means we have to work it down more. 